Okay, I put the dogs up. I said I ended the video, but I decided to, I had to walk out here, bring some stuff to the barn, and throw some scratch out, check to see if we had eggs. So for those of y'all that are new to the channel and meet all my, meet all my money makers, we have astral, black astralorps, blue astralorps, Americana, um, Lord, I can't even think of what the other ones are. But uh, we have two roosters. That's Rising Sun. He's the old one. And then this is a new one. And my niece gave him to me for my 65th birthday. So we call him 65. And... Uh, Till recently, till he molted, we thought he was a girl. <laughs> Every test we did said he was a girl, but y'all can see he's getting his saddle feathers and everything that he eats out of my hand every morning. Rising Sun has never let me touch him. I can catch him when I need to uh, and have, and he's fine. But he's never, I've had him over three years, y'all. He's never spurred me, he's never come at me. Uh, he's as gentle. See, my foot's right here, and he's right there. He won't even, if I go after him, he won't even, he'll just walk away. I've never had a Aracana, and that's what he is. And they have got to be, or he's got to be, the most gentle rooster I've ever had. Uh, he's never intimidated. He never, I'm going to go in the. I checked for the eggs earlier and got them, but I'm going to check one more time while I'm out here. But I was just going to give a little walk through the, through the, uh, area where the chickens, here's a big pen over here. I don't keep them all in one pen. I have three pens and I divide them up into two. And then when we have babies or a mama hen sitting or something like that. This is the back side. And uh, earlier in the other video, I said we cleaned the leaves. Our, my battery died when I got back here, but y'all can see little trails that I made through there. I walked through and come back here and and uh, check check for eggs and sometimes I'll have a hen run back here that won't go in the that won't go in the uh, pen when I get ready sometime I get ready to put them up early but y'all can see I left all these uh, trees and uh, I cut all the pine trees out left the cedar trees and the cherry laurels and then when the uh, leaves fell I walked back here and found all these pine trees. So now I gotta have Felipe come back or get back here with my chainsaw and cut all these out. I had a bunch up in that corner that we cut a few months ago. And uh, I left all this overhead so they would be safe from the from the air predators, the owls and the and the hawks. And I don't know how much is fenced in back here, y'all, but I did know the measurement of the of the foot of the fence when we built it a year and a half ago, but y'all, I, I totally, I've totally forgotten what that was, but uh, I left all these little trees up here to grow. There's several cedar trees, and there's several back in through there, cedar trees, and the birds roost in them, and you come back here at night all through the winter and the summer and if you walk slowly through there those trees are full of birds you may not hardly see no birds but see this little cedar tree and that's a little cedar tree and uh that's a little cedar tree over there and so that's three cedar trees and uh so that's a that's a cherry laurel that's been shaped and that's a cedar tree and a cherry laurel. So I'm hoping since we cut, you can see the roots of all these little pine trees over here. I'm hoping these fill out more, but it's a, it's a good safe place for them. 
uh, and when I cut my grass, I bag it from my yard and uh, I feed them the grass and uh, I feed them a lot of stuff uh, from the garden. We'll give a little walk through over on this side and that's my old pole from my, from my camper hookup that I took down. They're all gonna go that way, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go this way. But that goes up behind my house all the way to the porch. And then this is the back of my storage building. And my little greenhouse. Uh, I usually grow tomatoes in there, y'all. I didn't even fool with it this year. But it works good. That little greenhouse works. I got some stuff stored in there, but uh, I had that at my other house. And y'all, I can put a heat lamp, two heat lamps when it gets cold here. And with the heat from, if see up against the house like that, and uh, two heat lamps uh, work great. That's all I've ever used in it. I've never, never lost any plants when I used it. But uh, I keep everything up on the back around there where the fence went to that other door. I keep everything under that porch. And uh, so far, I've just been able to cover it. But I do have drop lights. And this is Sister Kitty's bed under the under the steps. That's Sister Kitty's bed and her light. And I plug that up at night uh, to keep her warm when it gets real cold. Like tonight, we'll, we'll plug that in. So anyway, that's just a little bit of more tour of the yard. Like I said, January just ain't much to... It ain't much to see, but I love it here. It's home. It's where I grew up, part of the land where I grew up. And uh, when I divorced many years ago, I bought this land from my dad. And uh, a year and a half ago, I sold a house that I built over on the other side of my sister's and uh, sold the house and all the land, but an acre and a half over on this side. And y'all, an acre and a half, what, just what I keep up out here, this ain't nothing compared to what I got back there in the woods. And uh, the only thing I need that for is to walk down the creek because the whole length of the creek runs the whole length of my land. I have a long, narrow lot, not lot, but acre and a half. And the water runs all down the right side of the land. And I love the water, y'all. That's what's so appealing over here. It's like a, it's like being in the country, but I'm four miles from anything that I need. Again, y'all be blessed. Don't forget to say prayers. And me and Brindley and Nugget love y'all. And for those of you that stuck around this long, those are some of my pretty eggs I gathered today.